Good day everyone. This is once again Professor Friday from Macomb Community College. I've been given a brand spanking new problem and I just had to get this on video since it was such a great problem. So a couple hosts a party. We're going to refer to them as husband one and wife one. They invite over five other couples for a dinner party. And while at the dinner party some people shake hands to greet, some people don't, for arbitrary reasons. That's what it said in the problem, for arbitrary reasons. I liked that. So some of them shake hands, some of them don't. No individual shake hands, uh, shakes hands with his or her spouse. Now, later at the dinner, the husband asks everybody, how many people did you shake hands with? Or how many people did... Yeah, yeah, how many people did you shake hands with? And when he, ha when he asks the other 11 people at the party, they all give different responses. So the question is, with how many people did the spouse of the host of the party shake hands? So for that, I'm going to write down the 11 possible responses. First, for any individual at the party, they will not shake hands with themselves, and they will not shake hands with their spouse. Meaning that, at a maximum number of handshakes that a person can have is 10. At a minimum, I refer to the rudest individual. That is the person that shook hands with nobody. So, given that there are exactly 11 integers between 0 and 10 inclusive, the possible responses would be 0 through 10 inclusive. So what we have written here are the 11 responses from the people other than the host for how many hands did you shake? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to say there must be a person. There must be a person who shook ten hands. Without loss of generality, I can call that literally anybody here. It could be a husband, it could be a wife, it could be anybody one through six. Out of complete arbitrariness, I'm going to say that wife number four shook hands with ten people. So we'll say shook hands with ten people. And those ten people would be husband one wife one, husband two, wife two, husband three, wife three. Now wife four cannot shake hands with husband four or with wife four, so we'll skip those two. Husband five, wife five, husband six, wife six. So now at this point we have our one person that shook hands with ten people and that was wife number four. Now at this point everybody who is here at the party except for husband number four has shaken somebody's hand which means that husband number four out of necessity has to be the person that shook exactly zero hands everybody else at the party has shaken one hand at this point so what that does for us is it identifies that the first husband and wife combo one of them shook ten hands the other one shook zero hands. What I'm going to do is remove those two from the situation. Now everybody has shaken at least one hand at this point. However, I'm going to work my way down. There must be oh, oh, that's not how you spell must. There must be a person who shook nine hands. So without loss of generality, we've already taken care of husband four and wife four, one of these other people must have shaken nine hands. Without loss of generality, we'll just say it was husband number two. Shook hands with. Nine people. So what's going to happen here is when shaking hands with nine people, we've already established that, uh, let's see, husband two cannot shake hands with husband two, nor with wife two, nor with husband four, because husband four shook zero hands. So we'll say husband one, wife one, 
husband three, wife three, husband four. Oh, no, sorry. Wife four. Husband four was rude. Then we got husband five, wife five, husband six, wife six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Groovy. So now at this point, everybody at the party has shaken hands with two people, except for husband four and husband two's partner, which would be wife number two. So we're allowed to conclude that wife two shook hands with one person. And that was the person from the last round, which was wife number four. The pattern that we're going to see start to emerge from here is that any husband-wife combo, if one of them shook ten hands, the other one shook zero hands. If one of them shook nine hands, the other one shook one hand. Now, what you're going to see is that whoever shakes hands with eight people, their spouse is going to shake hands with two people. So what we're going to do is label down these as couple. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm ignoring the numbering from earlier, and I'm just calling them their own couples now. The first couple that we analyzed, one shook hands with ten people, the other one shook hands with one. Excuse me, zero. The other shook hands with zero people. Husband four, you were rude. Zero people. Couple number two, one shook hands with nine people, the other shook hands with one person. What we're going to see if we continue this pattern is that three, one shake hands with eight, the other with two. In couple four, one will shake hands with seven people, the other with three. And in couple number five, one will shake hands with six people, the other with four. Now by this point, all of the handshakes that can take place just took place. And if you count them all up, you're going to find that couple number six will shake hands with five people apiece. The pattern that we get is that the sum of the handshakes for any couple has to add up to ten sum of handshakes for any couple equals 10. Now this last one seems like a contradiction because we said at the beginning of the problem that the host asks everybody else with how many people did you shake hands and he got 11 different responses not the same response. The only way that this is possible is if the last one that you take a look at is the host and the spouse. Just like a person can't shake their own hand, you also cannot ask yourself with how many people did you shake hands. So the supplement to this problem is that not only did the host's spouse shake five hands, but the host also shook five hands. So the conclusion that we draw is that host and spouse. Both shook five hands. That is how this problem is solved. QED, quod erat demonstratum. That's uh, Latin for, uh, and thus it is demonstrated, or as thus is shown, the American equivalent, FS. That's faux shizzle.